Hi you guys, it's Mrs. Akins. This is our first video lesson. So this is gonna be a learning experience for me and probably for you too. So first, I wanna say how much I miss you. I miss you all so much. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are healthy. Um, and I'm super excited for uh, hopefully these videos to um, help kind of connect us again because I miss it so much. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start with a rhythm of the week because that I wanna keep doing. And then we are also going to be talking about the percussion family today and I'll get to that more in a minute. So this is the first time I've done this, so let's see. So here is our rhythm of the week. So it looks just like it has always looked up in the corner of my board. So I wanna do a quick review. So first I've got, I wanna review these notes. So these notes are our eighth notes and they say TT, they are fast. This is a quarter note and it says ta and it's a slower note. So I have my TT ta, TT ta. If you've been doing these rhythms with me for a while, you'll recognize this as one of my favorite rhythms. This is the jingle bell rhythm. This rhythm is, says, is, the, is the rhythm to jingle bells, which I think we all know the tune to. So, we have T T ta, T T ta. So I'm gonna write that on there really quick to help us out. So we have T, T, ta, T, T, ta. All right. So we have our T T ta. So I will count us in and I'd really love if you would speak this with me. Ready, go. T T ta, T T ta. Nice, can you clap it? Can you clap it and speak it? Do both things at the same time. Ready, go. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Nice job. So this is jingle bells. So if we do jingle bells, jingle bells, it's the same rhythm to the tune that we know. So this is one of my favorite rhythms. Nice job. So we're gonna talk about the percussion family today. Before we left school, we were talking about all the different families of, um, of instruments. We did the brass family. So I played my trumpet, my trombone, the French horn, and the baritone. We did the woodwind family. So we uh, heard the flute, the clarinet, the saxophone, and we got to watch videos of the oboe and bassoon. We also did the string family. Um, I opened up my piano so we could see all the strings inside of it. We watched videos of the violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. Uh, we watched an electric guitar video, and we got to check out my acoustic guitar in my classroom too. So there's one family that we did not get to, and that's the percussion family. It is the yellow poster up on my on my word wall, if you can envision that. And um, it has uh, different instruments on it. We're gonna talk about a few of those today. So the first one I wanna talk about, or first really I wanna talk about what is a percussion instrument. So a percussion instrument is any instrument that you hit uh, to create sound. So you could use your hands, you could use a drumstick, you could use a mallet. So um, if you remember back to the beginning of the year when we did up the ladder, down the ladder, I had my bongos and my bongos are the two drums that sit next to each other and I use my hands to play those. And we talked about how we, we use our hands because the heads of the drum of the bongos are thin and if I were to hit them with a stick, it could it could damage the drum and we don't want that. So um, if I were to use um, a drum stick, uh, I, and I'll talk about the instruments that we can use those with. So. Um, Let's talk about the snare drum first. So I a snare drum is on my word wall, but you kind of have to look. It's kind of within the drum set up there. So the drum set has a bunch of different drums. It has a bass drum. It has some tom drums or these kind of these big, tall, low sounding drums. Uh, this, the drum set also has some cymbals, too. We'll talk about those. Uh, but the snare drum is kind of the center of it all. And the snare drum is a really, really important percussion instrument. So what is cool about the snare drum is Unlike my bongos that have one head, the snare drum actually has two. It has one head on top, and then if you flip the drum over, there's a super, super thin head on the underside. And what else is on the underside is this long, um, it's like attached to the drum, it's these metal coils. They're itty bitty, itty bitty little coils. And what happens is when you, um, 
when you hit the drum on the top, those coils are touching that bottom head and they rattle on the bottom and they create this really cool tss, tss, metallic sound. So you don't actually hit the coils. The vibrations from the drumstick hitting uh, the, the drum create that create the create the cool sound so you can use drum uh, a snare drum in a uh, a drum uh, like a drum set uh, you use it in a band you can use it in an orchestra and um, one cool thing you can also use it in marching band snare drums in marching band are a big deal they're like the center of the whole drum line they're really awesome uh, in fact the snare drums in a marching band are uh, bigger than normal snare drums and the heads on the top are used with some of the same materials that are used to create bulletproof vests for police officers. So they're really, really strong. It's really cool because when you're in a drum line playing snare drum, you hit those with a drumstick pretty hard. So they're really cool. So also, um, let's talk about um, the, the xylophones and metallophones. You've seen those in my classroom a lot. We've probably played some of those too with Pass the Pumpkin and with some of our compositions that we've done. Um, if you were uh, second grade and you guys did centers with me too, we used our xylophones. So xylophones are a percussion instrument too because I use a mallet to hit them. If you visualize the mallets in my room, they have a black stick and then they have yarn on the top. It's blue yarn in my classroom. So that's what we use to hit um, are the bars on our xylophone. And xylophone and metallophones are really cool because you can play a tune on them. I could play Happy Birthday on the xylophone. I could play Mary Had a Little Lamb on the xylophone. I could play any tune I wanted. Those That's really cool about the xylophones. So one instrument I'm gonna do a link to a video so that you can see is called a marimba. And a marimba is like the grandpa xylophone. They're huge. Uh, some of them are seven and eight feet long. They're super, super, super long. And they're also really tall. If you were standing in front of a, a marimba, it probably would come up to your chest. They're super, super big. And they're just like, and the bars are really big too. Uh, they're really cool. Someday if you get to go to the high school, uh, there's a marimba in the band room that you could go see. You'll have to go ask uh, because it's really, really, really cool. I love it. So the that's, that's a percussion instrument because I'm using mallets to hit it. So I want to talk about cymbals really quickly. I mentioned the cymbals uh, with the drum set. Cymbals are big rounded pieces of metal that you either hit with a stick, a mallet, or you can crash them together and they're really, really, really loud. I'm gonna hopefully link you to a drum set video and you'll be able to hear the cymbals. They are loud. I do not have a set in my room, um, but uh, they're really, really, really cool. I guarantee you've seen them before. They're on my, um, on my word wall. So lastly, I wanna talk about the timpani. These are also on our percussion poster in my room. So the timpani are these big round drums. They're also called kettle drums. And they um, are really cool because you can actually change the sound of them. So what, if you look at the floor, and I'll link, I'll, uh, I'll link a video for you. Um, if you look down at the floor, you can actually see a foot pedal. And you put kind of like a gas pedal on a car, and you can push the foot pedal and it will actually tighten the drum head and make the sound go higher. So as you tighten, the pitch will go up, and as you loosen it up, the pitch will come back down. So it's really cool. You can actually change your sound on it as you're playing. So the timpani mallets are really cool too. They are a stick. They kind of look like a drumstick at first, but on the very top of them, it looks like someone took a marshmallow and stuck a marshmallow on the top. They're these little white fuzzy, uh, almost like a little cylinder at the top, and you can hit the timpani with those. So they're really fun. So I'm gonna link to, uh, down in the description, I'm gonna link a few videos uh, for you to check out. They're really cool. These are our professionals playing these percussion instruments. They're super fun. What's so fun to me about the percussion family is that you could really turn anything into per a percussion instrument. Because anything that can be hit safely can be a percussion instrument. Technically, I could take a pair of spoons and tap on uh, tap on something in my house and I've created a percussion instrument. So see if maybe you can find something in your home to create, safely create a percussion instrument. So 
I ask that you check out the links in the description of this video so that you can watch some cool, uh, some cool instrumentalists play those percussion instruments. And also check out the form that I have uh, in the description to let me know what you thought of the videos. So I will see you next week. Have a good weekend.